what this building has enabled us to do is pursue this a, a ideal wonderful place of for the exchange of ideas to discuss science. Be better at what I'm doing. Open resources open. that was available to us. It's changed the laboratory culture. And a lot of the interesting uh, research happens uh, at the there's boundaries so much between incredible, incredible research going on that really is unique when it really comes to, to cost as an engineer it's very inspiring to be in a modern workspace. Research is now interdisciplinary. That's, there's no question that this is where science and engineering is going. It's amazing how much the design of a space can actually encourage collaboration. What happens in this building is a lot of brainstorming, a lot of collegiality, um, a lot of nerdiness. You walk around and you see these whiteboards that are in the hallways, and you'll see poems to equations to um, postings of courses, to postings of events that happen across the university. When they said, oh, they're building a new building, I said, okay, fine, it's another new building. When they said it's gonna be, like, you know, you're gonna move in there, I said, okay, I'll have a nicer office, the walls will be cleaner. But I didn't, I didn't anticipate how it would actually change the way I work. A state-of-the-art, cutting edge, it's a place to be curious and to ask questions and to find answers. It's, um, it's bright and happy. It's not a dungeon of computers that people usually think of when I tell them what I do. Our students all share a space and they learn many things from each other uh, and often wonder, I think, more things from each other than they do from the faculty. It's a playground for engineers. Um, because if you look around, we have all these amazing robots, all this incredible technology, so many people that you can work with and discuss and create new ideas. So it's really just a, an incredible, collaborative, fun place to work. It's really big, clean, new, uses a lot of high-tech equipment. I think all the undergrads want to have a class here. You have people from mechanical engineering, you have people from electrical engineering, you have people from computer science, you have people from natural language processing. You have all of these various core fields, um, as, well as, as well as people who work on you know, very abstract mathematics and things like that, um, all working you know, next door to each other. The new research space that we have in Hackerman Hall uh, has enabled us to bring together an interdisciplinary group of engineers and scientists uh, who can uh, collaborate on problems that we wouldn't be able to attack individually within our discipline. It's made cooperation much easier. I, it's not that we started out, uh, started uh, to work on problems we didn't work on before. That, that didn't change. What changed is that the expertise of colleagues is available and instantly. Uh, things are probably a little bit more fluid. Um, I think the space tends to break down hierarchy. There's constantly a evolution of new ideas coming in and with that new collaborations. And with the new collaborations there's going to be new setups, new research ideas just pushing forward the research areas. Now that we are all in the same building it allows us to interact in a way that we were not able to before. I think that this building is an amazing building. This is the building, as for an engineer like me, as a biomedical engineer, this is the building that, you know, things happen. The fundamental theme of this building is, as I see it, coupling information to problems in the real world. It's not uh, architecturally avant-garde, it's architecturally very useful. And uh, you wouldn't know it until you are in that building and you start working in it and living in it. Uh, it's, it's a great building. Just the big chairs and the, the desks and the light pouring in through the windows here. It's just, it's an ideal learning environment. Absolutely. It, it really changes how you live and work. It really changes what happens on, in my day. And uh, of course, one of the downsides of it is because it's such an open building, my students know when I'm in, so there's no hiding from them. One of my favorite things about this building is I feel like any place I go to is home. There is no better place than Hawkins.